Porsche chat, this MSI GB15 gaming laptop can Alright, how you doing stream? Um, yeah, uh, I have like an assignment of five sketches due tonight. Um, so we're gonna get right on that because I procrastinated because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. But you know exactly what I want to do now. We're gonna jump into these and just get these done as quick as we can. I'll pull up my references so you see what we can do, what we are doing, and we'll jump right into it. and we'll just pick some so we're gonna start with this one start with this guy there we go perfect get to work.
This lady's face is like really, really nice. I'm trying my absolute hardest to not completely butcher it. She has a lovely face though. just down a little bit just so I have more canvas space to work on that's a little too far down that's all right for now let's just shrink it a little bit that ought to be good This feels like I'm being like pressured because I want all of these to take less than an hour amount, like an hour of time, if I don't have that much time left to get this done. Uh, but I also want them to be good, like I don't want it to be, you know, just something I do to get it done. I also feel like I haven't done actual head studies in what it feels like forever, so this is really just chaos. Uh, unfolding. Should probably draw in a few things like that. Put that in there. Put that in there. And then fix that up. That's a little too far up in relation to the hair. So we're just going to shrink it a little bit and then bring it down and then draw through that shift her up a little bit so set down we'll shrink her a little bit more perfect zoom in not too much though get back to the brush Since we are just focusing on the face here, I'm going to leave the rest of this to be pretty abstract. I think I'll paint this photo later on as well, just because I really like this reference. Uh, it is very, like, up my alley. So I'll definitely return to this when I don't have to work at the speed of light.
I am having a good. <laughs> I am having a good stream. Uh, um, if it's buffering, uh, it might actually be me because uh, OBS just updated. And I didn't really go in and tweak anything. I just had to start this stream so that way I can start uh, my sketches that are due tomorrow. <laughs> uh, because the year just started and we have already began procrastinating. Um, yeah. So if it's buffering, it's probably somewhat my fault. But we're going to be speed rushing these, uh, these drawings. Like, I hope to get this one done by maybe 820 like not even 820 a little longer than that like 845 um that's like the latest i hope to get this done um we really don't want to take too long i'm gonna start making some really bold decisions here bye just get some pretty pretty big Big shadows, so you know. We want this to look like it's drooping, not like just flowing. So we're gonna fix this just a little bit. Uh, I think this is just too thick. That right there. It's a lot thinner when it comes in. We'll increase the brush size a little bit. Uh, thinner than that, actually. It's much thinner around there. I th I'd say that's actually really good. We'll get one shutting out and then. Actually, we won't do that one jutting out. Go back to the eraser, get rid of some of this, go back to the brush. This comes out just a tad bit too far for that. Get rid of the rest of these. And now we're going to try and make this look a little bit more like hair by having it flow just a little bit better. Beautiful, beautiful. It's looking great so far. Uh, we're going to start connecting the hair to parts in which it juts out at. So right here, I should probably separate that from that bun in the back that she has. too much detail in this because I really like the whole you know implied detail idea uh, why do the why, like why bother rendering out 5,000 little strands when you can render a chunk and have it look just as good
right, cool. We're gonna start adding in a little bit more details on the face. This honestly feels like a freaking marathon. Like I am panicking a little bit, but when we get to number like four or number five, we'll slow down a little bit and give those ones just a tad bit more quality. Oh god, I'm panicking. Okay. Um Yeah, it does it doesn't it doesn't look too bad so far. Um We're gonna keep it up. Uh just keep building and building and building and see what we can get. We'll scale it down to size now. Move it down a little bit. I am so nervous about getting into these facial features, but it is what it is. You got to do it at some point. I'll finish up this. being just so that way I can I don't hyper focus on things that are insignificant this goes around here I remember that this will end around here. And then I will have the nostril be around here. I would actually do this instead. Let me erase a little bit of this. And I actually put the nostril in there. Don't don't procrast don't don't procrastinate your work, kids, or else you're just gonna end up panicking like I do. Um, fix up this nostril, not nostril, this whole nose. I'm gonna filter here, liquefy this, and we're just gonna move out the nostril. I'm gonna move this out a little bit. And then 
push that in a little bit. Actually, no, I think it's fine this way. I'm gonna do one of these. Start the eyebrow out. And her eyebrow is relatively like small, so it also starts out like here. I'm gonna cut into it almost as a painting. What I mean by like calm is that like it's not really angled in a particular way. It kind of makes her look angry or like you know upset at all. It's very relaxed in its natural position. We're just gonna do the same thing on this side. We'll get the same thing over here with this nostril. I'm just gonna get the eye sockets into position. And I'm putting some gray here. This is actually uh, something I learned from Christoph Young, but we're putting the gray in there just because we don't want it to seem really, really harsh. Uh, adding that small amount of gray in will make it will give the eye a bit more um, of a softer feel. Someone who has like completely white eyes almost looks like, I don't know the word, like insane. They look very, very, very out there, so. And she is not out there. Her eyes are cool though. And I wanna capture that, so. We're gonna get to work here gonna build up the eye from the ground up so I'm gonna put in this upper lid And I may have put the eye sockets a little bit too low, so we're just gonna take our eraser here, or our brush I guess, and just, not low but high, and just extend it down lower just a little bit. And if it's too dark, just give it a quick tap with the eraser. I'm gonna do the same thing at the top end. Alright, now we're gonna attack it. Um, start right here. Relatively large brush. And the eyes are definitely my weakness, so I'm trying to speed run these. Oh boy. We're gonna do our best though. take away some of like actually I won't take away most of it I'll just use this and extend out the eye so I'll do this we're gonna try and use a little bit we're gonna try not to backtrack all too much Okay. 
There we go. That's it. We'll do the other one. And of course, I'm not gonna leave out the pupil. This one's a little strange because like it just kind of does this and then immediately goes into closing. So we're going to try and capture that, connects to that. Uh, I may need to go a little bit lower. Uh, we're going to flip this for this one. Where it just connects in and then immediately goes out. And we're going to pull this out a little bit. Pull it out a little bit. In and curve it. this to be a little brighter same with that and then of course pull that we'll bring that down a little bit This needs to be flatter, so we're going to flatten that a little bit. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to try and make the face a little bit more curved so that way it's a little bit closer to what it actually looks like. I 
add in a few things here to get her lightness a little bit more on point. So we're gonna pull this one and pull that out. Now her eyes are still like really, really like big even with the makeup. Uh, so we're gonna try and avoid uh, shrinking the eye. And pretty soon here, by the time it hits nine, I'm gonna have to call this one wraps. So I'm gonna have to work pretty quickly here. Uh, we'll throw in the the eyelid. Which is pretty, pretty. Small. in a pretty, pretty dark spot right there too. Now I have noticed that the eyebrow here is too low so we're gonna take that and just move it up. So like right there. That should be good. And I think I'll do the same for this brow here. I'll just move it up a tiny bit. And while I'm here, I'll grab this second lid. It's far too large though. That should be good. some of the harsh harsh iconography I have going on here I'll replace it with like so like like this should be good be a nice warm shadow going on here.
just gonna erase to try and get rid of like super harsh transition that's happening. I'll give one wash over this and then go back here. Stretch for a little bit, get right back to it because we have no time to waste, unfortunately. Um, get in here, fix up this part of the face. Let me draw the lips in really quick. I haven't flipped the canvas in a while. Yeah, she looks fine. Just making sure. Just a tad bit higher up. No, it's perfect. Let it go back. Perfect. We'll flip it to make sure she doesn't look terrible. Yeah, she looks fine. Get back to the brush. Let's finish up these lips. The really, really cool thing about lips is that, like, you don't really need to, like, draw in the full thing ever. You just need to represent what's happening around it, and it kind of does itself. So, like, right here, I'm just going to go like that. And then pull it in like this. And then bring it out with a bit of a bigger brush like that. And then pull that one in like that. And then pull this one out just a little bit. And I won't. I should probably make this one just a little bit thinner. And then, of course, be normal. And I'm going to take an eraser and just dig into this one here just a little bit. I should probably pull her lips up just a bit because it doesn't look aligned. Holding again. One, two. That should be more than enough. Two. And then do that.
time is rapidly approaching. We gotta go. And all the features are in. I'm just gonna go in and define some things. So we'll go in for the makeup here and then make that really, really bold. So that way it stands out. Kinda has this crazy eyeliner. Well, wings, so you know. Gotta draw those out. Uh, I'm gonna draw out the rest of the eye here first, and then I'm gonna put in her makeup. Fix that just a little bit. That's pretty thin, so I'm gonna cut that out. Stressing. Come on. I'm trying to get as much like detail done in this as I can. Because at this point I have the basics of the face wrapped out. I just have to and her likeness captured. I just I wanna get as far as I can on this before I end the stream. So well not end the stream, but end this piece. And so far we are bordering on 15 minutes so we have to start going i need to i i have to get in here and define this nose real quick to see if this was a good as good decision probably not i probably need to do something more like that and just slowly build that yeah something more like that um where's my smudge tool 
That's a lot better. Must be a large, bigger divot there for her nose. Um, but it's okay for now. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm joining a friend in a Discord call, and I just opened screen. Oh, what is what is? Ah, no! How do I get rid of you? Take a screenshot. Okay, perfect. Um, we hop on in here. I'm going to start a call with her. Because I know she wanted to talk about doing her thing. What's up? What's up? Hey, you said to call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you like wanted to talk about anything or have any questions, I'm just speed running the assignment right now. I'm doing it live on stream. <laughs> so I'm gonna... you're not going to, um, uh, you're you're not going to do a video. Uh, I'm actually doing it live on stream right now. You can hop into the stream if you want. Uh, on Where Twitch. Is that? Uh, it's on Twitch right now. Um, oh. If I can share it here and my computer does not also lose its um. You know, power, I'll do that for you. Can you. How about, are you good with this? Yeah. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, oh, that's a good reference. We are speed painting this. I'm trying to give myself just an hour. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're panicking a little bit, but we're, we're going. That's awesome. I'm so glad he's letting us go digital for the weekly ones. Yeah, honestly. I'd be in severe pain right now if we couldn't. <laughs> yeah. God, this second eye can die in a hole. <laughs> Getting the second eye is always like the worst part. Yeah. I typically try and do them at the same time, but this this guy is just not having it. <laughs> Alright, lips time, so that way I don't run out of time. And uh, this one ends before she has lips. Uh... I didn't know you had a Twitch account. <laughs> yeah, throughout like most of the uh, summer, I streamed here. So this is where I tracked a lot of progress. I logged back in recently because you know I had to get ready for classes, so I haven't streamed for a while. But I logged back in and I saw that all my vods were going, and I was like, sad. I do have Twitch, so next time I can hop on there. Hey. But this works great too. some bold decisions and just go <laughs> super super dark exciting yeah but not <laughs> darker than the eye shadow so
That was five by five and a half, right? Yeah, mine is not gonna be five by five. I'm gonna shrink them all down to five by five, uh, so they'll, it'll, they'll be just fine. But I just I would just work on whatever canvas size you really want right now, and then just oh. shrink your drawing down to a five by five canvas when it's time to print them out or turn them in. Smart. Well, we actually don't we just upload them? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just had it being like physically handing to. Oh my god! I bag. have nine <laughs> minutes. Oh no. Oh no, okay, okay, okay. Lips, lips, lips. Finish the lips. That is, that's the number one thing on the mind right now. Finish the lips. Yeah, feel free to like ask me any questions or like anything else if you want to talk about anything. I'm just over here like losing my mind mentally. Uh, very slowly. <laughs> um. So you originally like, so so you're giving yourself an hour for each piece. Yeah. So <laughs> this is number one. So we're 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 speed running it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Oh. It's been a while since I drew one of my characters' heads the way I like so. This might take a while, but nah, I oh. would limit. I, I would limit the time you work, uh, just for like a little bit, uh, okay. just cause like you know it, it really helps to like make your decision, make sure you're making decisions. Cause like no. if I if I didn't limit the time I work, I could like m as Ross draws would say like noodle around on something for like nine to like ten years, not making True. any real big changes, but just still kind of you know existing within that space. Uh huh. So marked yeah helps make like helps you rush the the pressure helps you make large decisions quicker you don't want to be standing there looking at like an image for like four hours being like i haven't made any real changes to this just because you're afraid so i'm slightly panicking but it's just because this is more time than i'm used to giving myself like i'm typically <laughs> used to like two hours per piece being like mm -hmm. this piece will take me two hours once that bell rings it's, it's done no more working on it uh Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is just taking. This is like, you know, not two hours, so... <laughs> not two hours. There's a slight bit of panic, but we're getting there slowly. I take it you're drawing her in the opposite direction as the reference for a reason? Uh, I flip the canvas a lot uh, just to make sure things match up. Uh, mm -hmm. So if I do this, <laughs> she dances. Um. Um, which also like helps you figure out where your mistakes are so that I can just go to liquefy and fix some things. Um, for example. And then also, um, we'll look for it one more time, and then just move that. Ah. Yeah, it's really useful. I would highly suggest flipping your canvas. Um, you don't have to do it immediately. Like, I don't do it immediately. So I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and be like, you have to do it every single like three minutes. I just do it whenever I'm like, oh shoot, when was the last time I looked at this on the opposite, you know, side? Uh, why is my eraser so ridiculously hard? That's actually insane. Um, I I kind of do. It. I'm just like, oh okay, cool. I haven't seen the reference. 
in a while from a different perspective. I should probably do that so that way my reference does not come out, you know, a completely different drawing. I see. Yeah. Yeah, they always say in social media art that, oh, I forgot to flip my canvas, and they always have like the art fail stuff, and I'm like, really? It, that, yeah. That, that, that's that important, huh? <laughs> it is, yeah, it is really important. Just because you get so used to looking at your art in the same way for so long. So you don't, you go kind of like, it's like, it's like going nose blind. You're unable to yeah. see all the mistakes. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, great. Now you made me realize I have a nose. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you just want to make sure and flip it every now and then to help out. So that way. Makes sense. Yeah. Her eyebrows got, not eyebrows, her eyelashes somehow got lost in the sauce of me drawing. So I got to put those back in there. <laughs> Finish the silhouette. Shoot the lips! I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. So it's those darn lips. Factual statements. <laughs> I need to make like a lost edge here for this flipping upper lip like, like that. And you'll see that like my values won't be one for one as I paint. Um, I try to like exaggerate a few things just to make the drawing process easier. Like mm -hmm. this entire side of the face, I completely exaggerated the shadows and everything. Just cause I'm not gonna do that to myself to have to get that soft of a transition. Um, it's just not worth the time to put in. It's really not worth the time inside this case, but usually it's just not worth the regular time. That would have been perfect if it had actually layered itself on top of the thing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna put in these, and then... A little bit of a smaller push will be just fine. It is now nine and I'm still working on this. <laughs> we'll add in the finishing touches. Get the makeup on the eye and all that, and then move on.
yeah, if you like have any questions about how to do anything, feel free to ask me, you know. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to... <sighs> Started on my yeah, stuff. So, so like, oh, yeah, yeah, just, I, I just, just jumping into it, honestly. Yeah. No, I've, I'm trying to figure out hair. I'm trying to figure out position of the head and the eyes and all that. Oh, I think that I'll have to keep my. Um, it'd be. I mean. Hmm. I think that what I would like to do is keep drawing these characters and keep getting them to be even more exact to how I want them to be. Okay. But at the same time, but at the same time, I also know what you said about how it's like if you're interested in like learning about the foundations and stuff, you should do that too. You can do both. So, like... I know. So I'm kind of like maybe he won't know whether he's gonna get <laughs> like trying to do realism um or and like diagrammed stuff and you know kind of work in that process or if he's gonna get some anime characters <laughs> yeah. there you go <laughs> you'll never know he's gonna get realism for me i already told him <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'll do whatever feels right because I like, I realized like I probably have around maybe between 20 and 30 characters maybe that like I can think of at the top of my head that I could draw but like that's not enough to fill the rest of the semester because that's like there are, there are like 15 weeks now or something yeah. including five you can always and like 15 draw. times five more. You can always draw them in like you know different uh, positions and stuff, draw them more than once, draw them doing things. True, true, you can go out and do things, okay. We'll see, we'll see what I want to do. Yeah, yeah. Now, now that I'm doing, now that I have, like, some of the realism stuff in my head that you talked about, though, it's really hard for me <laughs> to... To, like, um, look at your, to look at the drawings the same? Yes, now yeah. I'm like, wait, no, that's definitely not how you would place the eye, you know? <laughs> yeah, once you study it, though, it'll, like, yeah, it'll really help. Yeah. Now everything I do is truly purposefully straying from reality you know yeah it's, it's like you can decide with each stroke yes i am straying from what you know realism is and i feel like that kind of like i feel like um it is is, is it istabak yeah istabrak it's istabrak okay yeah. um yeah, what she said about how like it's not good to start with anime. Yeah. I actually kind of do agree because I don't know anime manga. Because manga um to me kind of seems like how you go to photography in the 100 level course. Mm -hmm. And then you take photography again and they tell you to forget everything you learned in foundations, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And so it feels kind of like that, where people should have more of the foundations first before delving into trying to get their own own style. Yes. Um, and uh, because then you actually can decide what kind of style you want because you know how much you want to stray then. Yes, so, exactly. Yeah. So that's good. Now I... And now you know why I do so many studies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you do a lot of studies. Personally, I just really like studies, but like they are also like really, really important. Mm -hmm. Let's get this hair done so quick. Oh my god, I'm okay. <laughs> lock in, lock in, Frederick. You have until nine. I give myself until. 9.15? Yeah, 9.15. Grace, hold me to it. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna try to do one of these in maybe 45 minutes. It's not nice. gonna be a great drawing, but... Speed is always really good. Like, if you have speed, 
thing is, I think is speed comes with like time from like studying and everything. Like, if I was new to this, I would not be able to do this uh -huh. at this speed. But like, it's because I spent the entire summer just studying, so like I can just say, okay, forty-five minutes, nothing more, nothing less. Even that is like that. That's really pushing it. Forty-five minutes, I would not be caught dead doing a drawing in forty-five minutes. <laughs> it takes far too much time. Way too much time. <laughs> yeah. 45 minutes might turn into more for me, but like I'm trying to at least have a time set for me to like check in with myself. Mm, true, 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 true. You always want one of those. Fuck. Yeah. Maybe flip the canvas at that point. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's never too late. As long as you flip it, you can find your mistakes and be like, oh, okay, let me let me fix some things. Mm-hmm. I closed my OBS by accident, so I don't know if anyone's in my my stream asking anything. So like if you have been here, my apologies. My OBS has been closed, so I haven't really been looking at messages. So, are you live on chat? I am. So, I'm also live? Yes. <laughs> I was not aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, I'm not a famous artist yet. There's like barely anyone watching. That's good. But they cannot see your screen, they just hear your voice. Yep. Glaze over that. No, I'm focusing on the wrong thing. Come on, hair. What's your Twitch name? Uh, ITSFGW. So it's just it's and then my initials. Hmm. Yee. <laughs> in case you ever want to tune in, I'm here. I'll probably no, be streaming a lot, uh, just because, you know. Uh, classes, and so I'd like, eh, I might as well stream what I'm doing for classes. Oh. Yeah. So. so I'll be streaming a lot of, like, the assignments and stuff for assignments. Specifically things like, like the, uh, the daily, like the weekly sketches, I suppose. For, like, mm -hmm. for Eric. Um. Oh, God. We're gonna do a lot of implied detail here. <laughs> this is why the impressionists were geniuses. They allow me to do things like this. They are genius.
I officially can't find you on Twitch. Um, did you put an underscore on the ITS? After the ITS. Yeah, mm. ITS underscore FGW. There we go. I probably should have specified that. That was 100% my fault. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, yo, I see you. Yeah, I do be there. One viewer, <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're about to make it two. <laughs> yeah, technically make it two. Yeah, hop in and make it two. Oh, God, three minutes. Oh, my goodness, I can hear myself. I am logging out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I chose this reference because these type of this type of hair is really the only hair I'm ex I'm an expert at. I love wrap mm -hmm. hair. I love like buns. Yeah, the wrapped hair is super cool. I know I never want to become a Twitch streamer. I sound horrible over Twitch. You'll be fine. I mean, everyone's like nervous. No, you get like I heard voice. my I heard my reverb. I sound horrible. You'll sound fine if you give it some time. <laughs> Dude, go uh, back and watch like any like first streamer, like popular streamer stream or something like that, and you'll find mm -hmm. that apparently none of them knew how to use uh, their voice. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty. As far as long. Hmm? That's really pretty. Uh, I thank like the way you. I like the way you're doing your her hair. You know, we're trying. We're trying. We're trying. Going at it one strand at a time. You know how it is. <laughs> um. Yeah. We'll do blue strands. God, there's so many of them. It is 9.15. Alright, well, that's that. <laughs> it's 9.14 your time, though. Go, go, go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going, 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 going. I'm going as fast <laughs> as I can. <laughs> My clock is like a minute ahead. Oh, no. So. Oh my god, you're right. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! Well, there's that. 9.15. Give me one more minute, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't leave these last two ones unfinished. It's just not gonna happen. That, no, it's not gonna happen. We'll get like, we'll do, we'll do implied detail for them, like a lot of implied detail. We're leaving yep. it up to the mind's eye on these guys. If yours is if yours is frail, I'm sorry you can't see these. <laughs> they just don't exist to you. That's just how it is. Sometimes you just gotta hold the hell on that. Shoot. <laughs> Oh man, only the privileged can be this. Yes, used. yes, this is for the upper class. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna uh, look at this, link that in there, fix this. If you could give slightly more indication of what everything below her chin is that'd be oh really yeah cool. i i definitely plan to yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm finishing up the outline right now i like a really strong outline for the hair like a really nice silhouette 
Yeah. And like, remember like Christoph Young, the person who I told you about? Mm -hmm. If you search him up on YouTube, he has like videos doing exactly what I'm doing. And I learned how to do like literally everything I'm drawing here. I learned how to do from him. That's really cool. Fix this. Big brush, big brush, not big enough, big brush, big brush, <laughs> big brush. Silhouette fix time, get a really nice one. Actually, I like the way it was before, so that way I'll darken this. too small so we're gonna expand it a tad bit I think that's good and then we're going to move that move that seems slightly off and I think it's because I need to move this entire eye over just a little bit yeah I think that's a lot better move that back a little bit It's really funny because I've been thinking recently about how I was kind of scared for a long time to draw my characters in a, in a school setting because I was worried about appropriation. And then I realized that a couple of my characters are honestly already a little appropriated because there's 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 nothing new under the sun. You know, you got you got inspiration from something, so. No one can actually, like, replicate what you do. True. Alright, hide this layer. Time to move on to the second one. Though the scary thing is, if people, like, run with an idea before you're, like, ready with it, you'll get, like, a Thomas Edison situation. Yeah. Save image. Whoop, whoop. File. But thankfully, they only go to in, uh, they only go to Eric. So, <laughs> what's he gonna do? <laughs> Eric's gonna steal the plot. He's gonna steal the whole plot from just the character images. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good reference. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm about to struggle because I'm not going to draw much on this. Why does this always happen? Like what? Okay. It unlocks? No, 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 no. My layer thing is for some reason never actually in the freaking box. And for some reason, color 
is always like mad out of position. Hmm. That's not what I want to do. I have to like. If I could. Can I use both my monitors, Photoshop? Thank you. It just. It was just straight up just saying no. Okay, that should be here. I. What is happening right now? Thank you. Okay, bring this down. Okay. Let's get to work. Window. Arrange. Workspace. Uh, new workspace. Yes. Um. Someone tells me I'm gonna regret picking this reference. <laughs> Does seem difficult. Uh, it's more not like it's not about the difficulty, it's more or less about the time. <laughs> 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 it's fine, it's fine. I'm not panicking at all. It's fine. Never panicked in my life. Oh, good for you. <laughs> yeah. That should be like that before the thingy thing comes in. Yup, that's the point I'm at now. Just not even gonna specify what I'm talking about. We'll get rid of the parts I am not going to render. Um, and we'll just put in all the rest of the basic shapes. So glad I wasn't the only one who procrastinated on this because I was feeling pretty bad about myself. <laughs> it's alright, Grace. I'll probably procrastinate on this every week. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever don't want to feel bad, just, just yeah, just call my name. I'll be there. <sighs> That's nice. I probably am. I'm in a painting class now. It's the class I've always wanted. I'm definitely gonna procrastinate drawing as much as I can. Yeah. yeah. I try. I'm gonna keep trying to do the homework for the painting on like Saturdays and stuff because then I get free parking. Because mm, I'm just too beat the day um, to come in at night. But, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done in one day, cause like with the paint having to dry and my arms. Well, we are tired. working. We are working with acrylics, so the paint drying. That's true. Is That's not true. much of an issue, but I do understand getting tired. I feel that. Mhm. Mm yeah, I, I was just sketching a little bit um, on the big canvas today, and oh my gosh, I like less than a half hour after doing some sketching, I was like, well, there goes my shoulder. 
You gotta hit the gym, Grace. Gotta get them. Gotta get them shoulders working. Yeah, it's not like my shoulder. It like the deltoid muscle or anything like that is like bad. It's like, um, it's my neck. It's the neck muscles that connect to the shoulder. Ah. Uh, I forget what they're called. Yeah, I don't worry. I don't know what they're called uh, either. What did you say? I said I don't worry. I don't know what they're called either. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> And then, you know, it's, it's kind of like, it's like when someone says you have neck pain, everyone knows where they point <laughs> to, you know? <laughs> okay, so, okay, okay, I know. I'm experiencing that right now. I am hunched oh. over. <laughs> oh. oh, no. But yeah, I, I think I need to, once I'm done sketching it, um, just that perspective of sketching it when it's like upright is really helpful for me. But when I'm actually like painting, I'm gonna have to paint on my um, table because I can't handle it otherwise. Like, I can't lift up my. I can't paint on an easel. I just can't. So, you know, but I kind of figured that would happen. So, whatever. That's fair. Mm. Ugh. Hair time, kind of. What am I even? I don't even know what this reference is of, but I still want to do it. It's just, it's so me. It is you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try I feel and, like, like speed rush this one just a little bit more. Oh, what are you saying? I I feel like what China said about us having our own style is also a little bit more like what we're what we like. Yeah, hundred percent. So like, I feel like I feel like your style is definitely that like kitsune mask and the yeah, bold colors, um, Asian inspired um, pieces. And that's just because all like a lot of the artists I look up to are just either like Malaysian, Chinese, or Japanese. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So that's kind of what you like and so therefore that will be kind of your style yeah it'll seep into my work yeah i had to think about that for a little bit because i'm like how how can you tell what someone's style is if you've only seen a few of their pieces because exactly. like, i haven't done, i haven't i haven't done that many but um then i thought about it a little more i was just like oh it's whatever you like yeah seems like such a simple answer but it took forever for me to come to that conclusion <laughs> well, everyone figures things out at their own pace yeah. it's nice to get philosophical about art because i feel like there aren't that many people willing to get philosophical about things with me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love just talking about art. Yeah. in the wrong spot. Should be alright. So I have it just show it out a little bit and then move down and then of course fingers. There are two fingers here and they move more like that, so that's perfect. One juts out, not like this. 
I am going to regret putting these fingers here. And then one comes out, out like that. Badushka. Bop bop. And then one goes. Pull that one down. Pull this one up, actually. I use like three different methods of drawing here. <laughs> I'm gonna put in the brows first for the face. So that way I can rush this, I can speed run this. Nice. start to draw your character and then you panic because they look ugly but then you like realize that you aren't even halfway through with the sketch yet so you're like no just keep trust the process <laughs> honestly i've like i've stopped the whole like i don't know like i don't i find it that like i don't really like if i'm determined to do a painting i'll do a painting but if i'm determined to do a drawing i'll do a drawing like i don't really like be like, oh yeah, let me let me paint this. Oh no 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 no, I'm gonna draw this, or I guess go from drawing to painting very often. I'm going to start doing that uh, for a bunch of concept design sheets that I'm gonna be working on. But as of current, um, no. And now I have to fix this mask. Perfect mask fixed. I should probably just leave this in here. Um, sorry, Grace. I talk like a lot, like. Like just verbalize what I'm doing as a force of habit. I'm just that's fine. Streaming. Um, I'm gonna try and make this one a little bit more cartoon-like because I don't think this is a real person, and if they are, this is a very beautiful person. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and make. I, got, it like... I gotta say, their hand wrinkles look so realistic. Where, on like this one? Yeah. On the reference, I think it's a paint. Like, I don't think it's a painting, because I I like to use live reference, like like not live, but like legitimate references, like um actual people. So I don't think it's a painting. I think it's a photo, but I think it's a, it's been touched up like a lot. Oh, I see. Yeah, because it does look like a professionally shot photo, so it would make sense that it would be touched up. Also, never do what I'm doing right here, Grace. Uh. I've been painting all of these with just like a round brush. Don't do that uh, until you've gotten like a good understanding of like, you know, everything else. Like I explicitly said not to do it earlier today. And like, I didn't start doing it until like today. I used to do all these with a hard brush. So I would suggest stick with the hard brush. Uh, yeah, I, I, I usually go with hard round as I'm doing my sketches. Is mm -hmm. that? Is that yeah, okay? That's a, yeah, that's a fine brush. That's beautiful. That should be- that's, that's like the ideal brush to learn how to do anything with. That's good. Yeah, it was just my favorite one to work with. I was like, it's simple, it gets the job done, it, it's like... Exactly. No one needs very, these fancy, fancy brushes. Yeah, it's, it's intuitive. It's like a cross between... It, well, well, I guess it's kind of like a Sharpie without the bleeding, and you get to erase it. <laughs> so kind of nice yes i made her face very very wide here <laughs> yeah <clears throat> flipping your canvas it saves lives and <laughs> it hair does. Guts out over here get rid of that and then i need to s i need to switch my pen so that when I use my eraser at the top, because I have a surface, so like I can actually erase things, um, that it actually uses the erase tool. See, I have no idea how to set that up. I just have like my <laughs> hotkey set up and everything. So like I have like the the two hotkeys I use a lot is my A and uh, A and D key, which will probably be <laughs> bracket up 
or like open bracket and close bracket for you or the open triangle and close triangle for you but it just changes my brush size size and i alternate between that a lot and then you know eraser uh and then back to the brush uh, i have a mixer brush but this is more for painting and then i have a smudge tool that i'm just not using hmm. Yeah, I don't use my keyboard because I just turned my computer into the tablet, so... Yeah, that's fine. That makes yeah. sense. I need to make it easier on myself. I'm gonna hop right into the rendering of this bad boy. Oh yeah, Kool-Aid Man style. <laughs> I'm just gonna put like a really big glaze over this. Nah, that's a terrible idea. I think I'm just gonna make this a thing. I'm gonna call it Procrastination Friday. Is it Procrastination Friday? Is it Friday? No, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Procrastination Wednesdays. <clears throat> it's Wednesday, my dudes. Exactly. Everyone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna live stream it. Just be like, it's Wednesday, guys. Pro we procrastinated the whole week. Glad we did. Let now, let's get this work done. <laughs> no last. <laughs> no regrets. None. Uh huh. I do what I do, and I make sure I'm proud of it. Damn it. <laughs> yep. Do everything you do with. Pride, exactly. I guess. Pull that in. That's a really thin thumb. I messed up this line. Get rid of that. Put this one in here. I'm already so tired. I don't know how I'm gonna do five of these. <laughs> you are telling me it is 9.40 and I've done two, not even two, one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're kind of in a similar boat. I, at least I don't have one done, so, yeah. You're t I'm one behind you. <laughs> oh, man. It's alright. We'll be alright. Yeah. I remember in my first, like, my first class with them, like, 131, I would often, way too often, <laughs> submit my assignments at like 1 a.m. instead of midnight. Uh, flashbacks, that was so sad. <laughs> but it was so difficult to get done with everything when, <clears throat> I don't know, just life was so complicated during the first, 
like year of COVID. Yeah, facts. Was, like, I was completely remote for my entire freshman year. Like completely, I I came to campus once. So, yeah, that yeah. was maybe twice. That so not, like, yeah, that does not sound fun. No, I did not have a first. I did not have a fun first year. But I did learn good things. I went too dark with this first layer too quickly. I have to erase just a little bit. And actually, we'll just build on top of it and hope for the best. lips like larger than you'd expect My main character wears a mask all the time, and it just makes me think of this one social, like this one, like I think it was a YouTube short. And this person was like, You can probably relate as an artist if at the beginning of your um, art adventure you, um, you hid hands with clothing. I'm just like, I did that once and you did something else, whatever, and you couldn't- yeah, oh yeah, you, you hid eyes with hair, and I'm like, I actually never did that. Um, and then they were like, also, you, like, covered up mouths with masks, and I'm like, well, not purposely. <laughs> if the character isn't supposed to wear a mask, I try to draw the lips in the mouth, but if they're supposed to wear a mask, then yes, it is really nice to be able to <laughs> just draw not it have in. To worry. Yeah, not have to worry about that. And you can play around with like, you know, like like some people, they like to show the mouth within the mask. Sometimes they even show them like the lips moving underneath. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Sometimes they'll show, like, the indication of the nose, but, like, for me, you were such a, um, fabric -y type of mask. It's not even a mask, it's more like a scarf, actually. Um, so we actually can't see much indication of quite a few facial features, and we can't really see the neck features either, so, um, by accident I created somebody who's actually pretty easy to draw. <laughs> I mean that's good but, though. Yeah. It makes it easier for you. Is is nice. Um far too dark. And especially if they're the main character and you have to draw them all the time, it's kinda nice to make it easy for yourself. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. There was an interview I saw with Kishimoto and they were like, Why did you choose that iconic like the iconic outfit that you chose mm -hmm. for Sasuke? 
And he was like, realistically, that is not what I wanted. But I, I, the first outfit I wanted, I tried to draw on a weekly basis just for practice, like before I ever like got there. And I just said no. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh it my literally, God. yeah. He had to like redesign it because it was just, yeah. I love it. What made you draw this? I was lazy. Yeah, legitimately. Yeah. It's just super important to like for your characters like to have that like you know mm -hmm. really nice base design so that way you don't struggle with them later on. Yeah, I can't be that lazy. I'm too particular. <laughs> You're gonna have to be at some point. Like for if you mm -hmm. wanna be a manga creator, like webtoons are nowadays, like you, you have to you have to be able to draw things really quickly and really efficiently. Sad. Yeah, you can still do what you want. Like, if you want it, just make sure you're able to draw it at a very, very, like, fast pace. But sometimes sacrifices have to be made because people want your content. And you don't want to, like, leave them with nothing just because you are taking... Are too particular. Yeah. I see. This is why I need to create the entire story before I send it out. Yeah. Then I can just like sit in the hole for just a couple of years and then I'll bring it to light and then they'll just have everything ready and it's just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. An idealized situation, but it would be really nice. Speaking of which, what's the last anime you watched? The last one I saw? Mm hmm Um, I actually don't remember. It's been a while. Like, I haven't seen anime in so long. It was probably My Hero Academia, because I was trying to convince some. I was probably trying to convince somebody to watch it. Despite how I meme on the My Hero community, I do, like, advise people to watch it. But strictly as, like, their intro to Shonen and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a good intro. It really helped me get into the genre. Because boy, I, don't, I tell you what, it was so dramatic, you know? Because like, I was not used to how dramatic and like eager everyone was. And it was quite intense, but then I was like, huh, I am completely hooked eventually, so <laughs> yeah. But I started with Naruto, actually, because I was, um, one of those absolute, like, like, I wish I could make fun of these people now, but I once was them, and I mis mistook a My Hero Academia character for Naruto, <laughs> because I did not know anything about anime, and so... I was interested in that, and then so then I was like, oh, what's this? And so I started watching Naruto, and then the other person was like, no, that was in my channel. I was like, oh, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> but, um, but I just continued watching Naruto for the first few seasons. I have stopped on, like, in the middle of season four right now, because, like, I'm just, like, too heartbroken at what's gonna happen next, because, like, I got spoiled. Oh. Um, and so... Yeah, and then after I got spoiled, then I read even more about it, and oh, it's so friggin' sad. That was like the first time that I got emotional over like anime and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, contrary to what most people believe, I actually think that Sasuke has one of the most bad backstories. People always like hate on him, but I'm just like, how would you like to be mind controlled like that and like be basically tortured at like seven? Fair, fair, um, fair. I don't know, I think, I, yeah, that's pretty no, bad. No, 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 it, it is understandable. It is understandable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, in fact, I'm as not... a seven-year-old, would not appreciate it. Yeah, 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 I, I think I would go bonkers. 
But yeah, because like, it's amazing how so many people like praise Itachi, and I'm just like, Itachi is like, flawed just like everybody else. <laughs> he should not have put that on Sasuke. So. That's fair, that's fair, yeah. But yeah, it's not that I, I want to take away anything from what people love about Itachi. I just want people to, you know, not hate on Sasuke, you know what I mean? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Um, I think the primary reason people don't like Sasuke is just because, yeah, to be fair, this man did kind of just pull a whole 180 on the whole village. Yeah. He was all like, I'm going to be a ninja so I can stop Itachi. I don't know where. I don't have enough strength. So I'm going to default. I'm like, all right, you bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's... People who don't really look at the psychology... Like, people don't look at the psychology mm. are the people who are like that. That's fair, that's fair. Because, like, most people, when they look at a story, they kind of just think about the tropes. And so if you deviate from the trope, then you're just like, oh, wow, you know, like, uh, you, you did a full 180, you know, because, like, people are like, oh, good guy becomes bad guy, you know, but it's not that simple. And I don't think Ishimoto actually, like, wanted people to think of it that way. No, I don't there's think so either. Yeah, there's a reason why we get to see Sasuke's journey even throughout the rest of the show is because Kishimoto himself doesn't view him as necessarily just like just the villain you know yeah it's a he's a complicated character but i mean that is that's just kishimoto's writing himself because like i mean he's a pretty philosophical guy to like, come up with madara and, and pain and all those kind of bullshit. yeah i will say this though kishimoto is flawed when it comes to his power scaling system jeez yes what is my what was madara it? my boy madara came into the war and it was just over <laughs> It was over. <laughs> like, yo. Yeah. I'm gonna go grab some water. I have to finish this by 10.30, so we'll speed up once we get back. Alright, speed run time. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna render highly and what I'm not, so... The eyes, of course. And... I guess, some of the nose. feeling there you're right there champ oh. I finally figured out the chin nice 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 yeah it's, it's really hard <laughs> yeah, I do be oh. like that cuz like yeah people don't realize it but like the way the chin is formed actually describes the personality of the character mm -hmm. like I don't I don't know what it is but like it, it just does um, because like there's a character that, there's like there's a character that I want to draw with a little bit more of a pointy chin, mm -hmm. but then a different character has a little bit more of a smooth, rounded face, and so it just kind of depends on the character whether you want it to be different shape and stuff. Because like I don't believe in having all the characters look exactly the same. I'm a little bit more like uh, Oda Sensei, where he um, kind of gives very different shape face value shapes. yeah shape value to everybody yeah. and even though you can tell everything is his own style um you you can have more creative liberty for like deviating from just one structure like <laughs> he does that more often with the guys 
Cause... Yes, no, no, no. There's literally a video of Oda showing people how to draw a girl, and it's literally just, oh, ah, yeah, just draw this, draw this hourglass, and you're done. And I'm like, all right, yeah. man, all right, man. Dude. Look, I respect you, but you gotta diversify that palette a little bit. Come on, man. <laughs> uh huh. There is Oda has like probably maybe, I don't know. He has two major flaws, and definitely one of them is his portrayal of women's bodies. But. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to for uh, to use, let's say, Nami's face as a base, you know, because I do think that Nami was very much um, utilized a lot um, for like Shiraiki and um, uh, BV a little bit. Definitely um, big resemblance to Rebecca. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of these girls just got to use Nami as your reference. That's who I used as my reference for my Isekai project. Mm. Um, so, yeah, you can literally make any girl look like she's in one piece if you use Nami's face. That's true, that's true. Mm -hmm. And yet, you'll still look like you. Because, like, Oda does the same thing. He just takes Nami's face and puts a different hair color on her. <laughs> so. Yep. Yeah. In terms of writing, oh man, no, I just. Mm, there's nothing quite like One Piece, and like, oh, I yeah, finally. 100%. I have finally accepted the fact that I'm always going to be disappointed <laughs> when it's not One Piece. Um. And, um, yeah, because, like, for so long, I was, like, like, once I got caught up to the show, I was just, like, oh, man, what do I do? Like, I still want to watch anime, but... It's not One Piece. <laughs> it's not One Piece, and so now I finally have, like, settled into that and gotten comfortable with it. However, I still am desperate for more One Piece content, and if I wasn't, like, <laughs> trying to, like, save money right now, um... I would definitely get Shonen Jump. I know it's only two bucks a month, but like, eh, I don't want to make any more investments that two bucks could go to parking. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I um. I mean, you're preaching that parking. That parking ticket really be eating you up. You know, I I I just don't want a parking ticket, so I want to be able to go into the Renaissance parking lot. But um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, but otherwise, yeah, I would definitely want to be, be doing Shonen Jump. Though, like, they advertise it as they only let you read the first hundred chapters of a manga, and I'm just like, well, then if that's the case, how are people reading One Piece? There really isn't Shonen Jump because <laughs> <laughs> there's like ten times that many chapters. So. Uh, I accidentally hit F instead of V. Whoops. Hmm. Yeah, just like that. That was beautiful. <sighs> I should have done this a long time ago, or at least I should have settled on how realistic I want to be. I mean, you don't have to do the realistic things, like, for your thing. You can do whatever you want, just uh, make it- make sure it's something you can do relatively fast for now, and then next time you can just swap it up. Yeah, fast. Fast. Because I definitely did not reach my quota of 45 minutes. And that's understandable, just because you're still studying, you don't know, like, really like key things that make up the face so it's hard for you to figure out what you can leave in and what you can leave out in that short period of time exactly measurement oh. is like very difficult for me right now you'll get used Measure to it you'll just you, it just takes some practice but you'll you'll get you'll be fine yeah this person has this whole thing going on um I wish I hadn't done this part now, but it is what it is. 
I'll use it as a baseline for that. Yeah, that's perfect. I just get rid of this. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, I clicked on a new anime this evening, and then, like, watched the first episode, and it was good. But then, like, I found out somewhere, I forget how, that it was, like, actually part of a longer series, and there were, like, two other installments before this season. Dude, now I have to go back and wait. When you, <laughs> you didn't realize when it's made I a already... major commitment. <laughs> I know, it's such a major commitment. I'm just like, I just wanted to see these 24 episodes, you know? <laughs> and the thing is, is, like, normally I'd be, like, elated with, like, a longer series, but, like, I'm not sure that Crunchyroll has everything. Oh. And so, you know, if you don't have everything, then you have to wait. And so, yeah, I don't want to wait. But, yeah. Um... <sighs> oh, well. I can't. I can't not do it, because... <sighs> I need to go in order. I just- I just can't help myself. <laughs> like, I was noticing that in the show it was like... It like started right in the middle of... Conflict, and I was just like, ooh, this is intense! Yeah, it's and a, it's a great like, opening, you're just like, man, yes, what a exactly. great- That's a great- what a great attention getter, man, I'm hooked! <laughs> exactly! Not realizing that there are literally like eight seasons of this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I um. What happens? Awesome. Um, why? How dare you come in my chat and just say ooh woo? Leave that. Leave if that is all you're just gonna say. <laughs> Wait, who came in and said ooh woo? My roommate, Austin. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're being productive. We procrastinated, and so we're we're paying the price for it now. But it's okay. We we are. We're tired, but you know what? We're we're doing it. <sighs> I think I might do like a little bit of everything. Just <sighs> sketch of a character, maybe some facial yeah. mapping. Yeah, worst comes to worst, just do what you want. Studies. Like. It's going. It's your project at the end of the day. Just do what you want. Yeah. Eric just gave yeah. recommendations. I, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's the because the other eye isn't in or because her makeup isn't completely done, but she looks so tired. <laughs> yeah, she does look pretty tired right now. I think it's because I made this part far too like. I actually mm. think it's. I actually think, for me, what makes her look tired is that her mouth, uh, like, what, what's above her lips, I forget what that part is called, this? but like, yeah, but on the left side of you, the canvas a little bit more, so it'd mm -hmm. be the right, the right side, I guess. This side? Um, the other side. Um, it looks the other side. You were in the right direction. No, no, no I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm just fixing up um, a few things. I see. It was, um, it's a little puffy looking, um, from far away. Mm. And so she almost looks swollen and tired, you know. Okay. But that's just what it looks like from that direction. Oh, okay, right on that. Let me just add a few more values into the lips here. To make it not one dimensional. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There is just a weird, like, little, like, dark spot on her lips like this, so I'm just gonna actually do that. We're gonna make this super, super dark under here. For rendering purposes. Nice. Um... I'm gonna fix her makeup. Make 
pickup kind of goes. Like this, dips in, and then curves under this, so some like, like this, and then pulls out to like here. God, it's because this eye is also so incredibly puffy on this side. It looks very, very... A little too puffy. We're gonna completely get rid of this. I think it'll help a lot with the whole tired look. Brush. That's still the eraser for whatever reason. Okay. Um. Looking a little better. Laptop is heating up, and now I'm heating up. <laughs> I like doing my art on my bed, but that's hot. Put that mole right there. Put another one right there. One right here, of course. Finish up this eye. This one should be really simple. It literally just wraps around like that. And I'm gonna have to make the hair better. There we go. I'm not gonna wrap the hair around like this. And that'll also make her look younger because her face will look thinner. Yeah. Simple rendering. Oh, it's so nice. in here with a really, really sharp brush. Thank you. 
<sighs> and just like that, this one is almost done. Good for you. Thank you, thank you, thank she's you. Looking, she's looking very good. I should really do a male at some point. Just so that way I don't completely forget how to draw men. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I think I'll do one male. He'll be the he'll be the ending one for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's separate this. <laughs> My guy said drawing men overrated. Honestly, yeah, you're right. Who needs guys when you have beautiful women to draw all the time? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like women are drawn almost too often. They sure, are they're beautiful. Yeah, they're definitely they're the uh, the social media uh, growth thing, you know. Right, right. You see, like... Draw pretty Pinterest girls to boost your Instagram followers? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's exactly what I'm doing, and I'm over here hating on it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah. I just... I know it's what sells. Because, like, it, it usually is really pretty, but, like... I don't know. I feel like there needs to be more representation of... Drawing males... And making it seem just as interesting, you know? Yeah. It's definitely, it not... like, a lot harder. Right. Well, I feel like more people need to take up the challenge then. I'll happily take up the challenge. If you're, if you're challenging me, say less. I'll be there. Oh, I challenge you to make an interesting looking meal. Say less. Because, like, I like that being my goal. Because too many people do way too many women drawings. Which, as I said, is fine. It's just I wish there were more. there was more variety. So. Understandable, understandable. We can definitely make that happen. Yeah, it's so interesting that, like, we have male protagonists and, like, everything is, like, so male-dominant, um, in ways that it shouldn't be, you know, not as many female mangaka and female authors, all that kind of stuff, you know, so many things like that. But. The one thing that has too many females is actually art. <laughs> very, in my opinion. So it's very fascinating. At least the art that I've only come across, maybe someone needs to direct me in the right place. Cause like... I mean, a lot of the art on Instagram I've... is very... Instagrammable. Right. I've... That's the thing I like. Yeah, Instagrammable. <laughs> it's just, it's a lot of pretty Pinterest women. Yeah. And I've only gotten into the social media aspect of it within the last, like, I don't know, the last year, less than a year. So, I'm sure there's a lot more out there than I even aware I love how I always, like, <laughs> I usually make statements to myself that are, like, pretty, like, broad. And then I have to like condense and be like, well, I could be wrong about this, though. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. But every day I wake up and hope to be wrong, just so I can learn something new. <laughs> that should totally be a quote <laughs> that you put on Instagram. <laughs> and then just have you become like, one of those motivational Instagram accounts. You yeah, put those inspirational motivation accounts. And then, and then, like, have, have the, the, like, illustration, like, underneath it, like, make no sense at all, you know? <laughs> it's, like, it's totally unrelated. Like, it's a, a dog, photo, like, a dog eating peanut butter. Yeah. Every day I wake yeah. up hoping to be wrong. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, a dog writing to a kid. Yeah, it's, like... <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not the only one who can appreciate the humor and how horrible some of the Instagram uh, Instagram inspiration yeah, accounts. inspiration accounts are I'm just like yo alright they try to make 
they try, they try to make everything like inspirational. I'm just like, I get it, man. You want to fill people up with hope. Cool. But like, well, calm down. Not everything is inspiration. There are some movies exactly. you should just leave alone. I'm sick of seeing inspirational like music behind some movies. I just shouldn't have inspirational yeah. music. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I haven't seen those yet. But I had, did once watch an entire video of inspirational, like, images. It was just, it was like a YouTube compilation. And mm -hmm. throughout each one, I was just like, this is not, like, anything that I don't already know. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, crazy. But the people just eat that up. Oh yeah. Which is so, so fascinating. No offense to anyone watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like bashing whoever's whoever likes that. But I mean, I have like, I know someone who's very dear to me, who likes motivational speeches, and who likes motivational sayings and stuff. And I honestly just never broach the subject with them because, <laughs> yeah, we just do not agree. Ah, look at these dark accents. Always so satisfying. Ooh, that is. Dark accents, the most satisfying part of art, yet also some of the most, some of the riskiest. <laughs> mm-hmm. <sighs> I think I need to stop noodling now and just call this one good. Do you think that it's easy to draw curly-haired characters, or do you think that would be kind of hard? Uh, it just depends on how you feel. Personally, I struggle to draw straight hair. Interesting. Yes. Just the way you represent it is just kind of confusing. Uh, it's because, like, um, I like to use a lot of sharp angles. To represent form and everything so drawing straight hair it's hard to get like a straight thing with sharp angles when building a base like mm -hmm. it'll always end up like naturally puffy even if i go like this right like this part doesn't look like something that belongs in a character so it just, it just looks weird but you know i that's just up to me to like figure out as an artist and fix i just got to do more studies with straight haired characters like mm -hmm. Yeah, I tend to go for at least wavy hair. It doesn't have to be like curly, but just a little wavy is nice. And if it is straight hair, I like to have it like blowing the wind or something like that so that you can see some movement. Because yeah, you're right. If it's just like stance, just straight down, I feel like that's difficult for me to like represent that it's indeed like hair and not just a rectangle. <laughs> yeah. God, hair can just die in a hole. I'll just do 
implied detail god implied detail is so good like anytime I, i'm struggling i just use it <laughs> it is a lifesaver what are you gonna tell me that i didn't put detail it's implied it's implied exactly what's with the strands of hair here i can put some strands of hair and all that also this is done I think I hold my breath a lot when I draw because I constantly sigh. Like, constantly. It's annoying. <laughs> do I, I do also... this hand or do I move on? I don't know. Uh, filter. So 22, I have 8 minutes to do this hand if I really want to. Okay. Let's get to work then. Woo! Put this here, that there, uh, put that there, and now we do a quick hand. Far too dark. Little known tip, throwing on piano actually makes you 500 times better at whatever it is you're doing in that moment. <laughs> piano? Yeah. That's how I feel. I feel like anytime I throw on piano in the background for me, I just become way better at anything I'm doing. <laughs> oh, uh, music? Yeah. Well, you know, there have been studies done and classical music does stimulate brain activity. Facts. So probably does help. I mean, they put it in The Incredibles, so... <laughs> it has to be true. <laughs> it has to be true because of that, you know. It's the worst, trust me, bro. <laughs> Why 
Why do I have to challenge myself? <laughs> so you. You know, through mistakes, you can actually find ways to help yourself later. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I just drew an eye where the lid kind of almost bent downwards a little bit, and it gave kind of a worried look, so it's good to know that even without the eyebrow, like, I notice this sometimes when I'm watching anime, too, but, like, seeing it from me is just, just a good reminder that, like, you can really convey a lot of emotion without even the eyebrows. Oh yeah. Our lids tell a lot. And it makes sense why most of the time, at times of rest, the eyelid kind of looks a little more rounded at least. Like even if the character generally has kind of angular features, their eyes still really kind of rounded. Facts, facts, facts. I mean, you could just <laughs> look no further than the Rembrandt of, of anime, MHA. It's a good example of that. Who is the Rembrandt of anime? I actually don't know. I was oh. being sarcastic. I, I no, like I, I generally like. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think there is one, but like I don't. <laughs> I don't remember who it was. Like, I've heard the phrase before. Wait, Scorpio is kind of- is that kind of what? Hold on, Austin, I'm sorry. I've been, like, in the zone for a while now, just, like, high-key, like, speed-rushing this. He's kind of what? Talking to you. Uh, chat. Mm -hmm. I can't see chat. We'll simplify this mask. We'll get the big shapes. We'll call this drawing good. <laughs> the inspirational video kind of guy. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm going to get on about that next time I see him. I'm going to be like, damn, I'm feeling like really not motivated today. I wish there was something that could, you know, just inspire me and put me in the mood to do something. Those would be my exact words to him. artistic choice here and just do this <laughs> clever thank you thank you thank you you know we gotta we gotta speed rush this somehow <laughs> mm -hmm. hand time i've been avoiding it for too long let's get this done it's, it's right underneath the hat it's actually really cute with that x <laughs>
shadow. 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 And now thick shadow. Not that. Do you thick, remember though. do you remember Bear in the Big Blue House? I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, okay. What's it about? Well, I assume it's about uh, a bear in a big blue house, but like, what's, yeah. what's the underlying meaning? <laughs> I, what's the message you sent? <laughs> I only watched, like, I think it was technically one episode. Um, maybe it was two episodes. I, I don't really quite, quite know. But um, the gist of it was kind of having a theme. And it can be as simple as, like, what do you do in the morning? Um, and then... It just kind of, like, follows the different characters in there and will describe how people spend their morning. And so it, I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a, like, like let's be inclusive type of show and, like, oh. show how things work. Okay. Um, lots of different types of goofy characters in there. Um, they're all um, basically puppets. Um, and so, it's a little bit like Sesame Street, but a little less, um, iconic. Um, <laughs> okay. and so, yeah, and also, e e probably even more, um, I would say, probably even more elementary than, um, than even, like, Sesame Street mm. stuff. Um, like, I would say it's ages, I would say... He'll give me a pep talk? Oh god. I'm actually kind of excited for this now. I I'm ready. I'm ready, awesome. Continue, continue. I'm listening, Grace. I'm listening, Grace. <laughs> Multitasking. Yeah. I am, I am talking slowly, so if you ignore me, I understand. <laughs> Gets to this time of night, and you're probably like, wow. Grace, and I'm just like, I know, I can't even stay awake. You're but, fine. Keep it going, yeah. keep it going. Um, basically, yeah, I would say that it for ages, like, probably toddler and then all the way up to maybe seven. And then if you're, like, an older sibling or something, watching with your younger siblings <laughs> like my siblings did, um, you can probably go up to, like, ten. But after that, you probably are gonna be like, hmm, this show is very much little kid. Um, okay, okay. But yeah. So, kind of kind of depends. I'll give it a watch. I'll give it a gander. <laughs> oh, you. You don't have to watch it if you don't have to. It's very... No, no, no. I'm interested. Fun. What was the Sesame Street, like, the Sesame Street, like, extension that I did not know about, huh? I need to, I need to know. <laughs> it's not an extension, but... It is now. <laughs> it is now, it is now Bear in the Big Blue House, the spin-off of Sesame Street, that's awesome. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought everyone knew about that show, that's oh. cool. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll soon find out there's a lot of shows I don't know about, I don't really watch, I never really watched TV as a kid. Really? Yeah, was not for me. Uh, mostly because family didn't have like a lot of like we didn't have cable like I, I grew up with like PBS I was a PBS kid but I didn't like PBS so I just <laughs> ignored the television <laughs> nice yeah I grew up on the tail end of good TV <laughs> oh, okay, so okay, okay. My, so I had um, I had decent TV in the early 2000s but then, once it got to be, like, 2012, everything started, like, going down the tubes. It was just really, it was really bad. Mm. <laughs> there was, like, nothing good. I stopped watching cartoons. I was, like, a sorry, I'm sorry. Because I was, like, yeah, because I, I started watching, I stopped watching cartoons when I was, like, 11, like, Saturday morning cartoons. Because everything was either a repeat or the, oh, actually, yeah, not just things weren't just a repeat because I, I would even watch the repeats I was so desperate <laughs> I one day like it was taken off like I watched what was it's called Cubo back then mm -hmm. and it was like taken off air and I was just like well there goes my Saturday morning fun <laughs> so 
Yeah, <laughs> I didn't watch that like my entire childhood, but for a good chunk of it, yeah. I would say a lot of my, a lot of my TV that I watched when I was little consisted of Disney movies, Pixar movies, um, Veggie Tales. Oh yes, um, Veggie Tales. <laughs> and um, Nest Entertainment movies. Um, what else? We um, Family Feud, <laughs> whatever would come on. <laughs> um, and American Idol, America's Got Talent. We we were very we're a very musical family, so we tend to watch more. Uh, music shows. So once I got older, I realized I was like kind of bad luck for the contestants because whenever <laughs> I would watch an episode, whenever I'd watch an episode, they always did poorly. So I just that is watching. not your fault. That's their fault. They choked. <laughs> I I know I know I know, but it's kind of a joke. It's like oh I jinxed them. It's kind of me getting giving my parents a reason not to watch basically terrible singing. So. <laughs> Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. But, um, so they, so now what they do is they watch it all and then they kind of like screen it and if they are like really, they really like a song. Oh, okay. And then they'll, then they'll show me or something. And I'm like, that's, that's what I like much better. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, so, just things like that. I actually didn't watch, um, a whole lot of Sesame Street as a kid. I still don't know a whole lot about it, actually. Like, like I, I don't know a whole lot about. Um, Elmo was on what, smoke. What? That's all you need to know. Yes, Elmo just wanted to fight. To I was you like, know, no, why like, you so passive like aggressive? That, Elmo, Elmo on fire is like, or Elmo rising could seriously be the one image that we show to aliens, and they would understand <laughs> us completely. Um, but, <laughs> um, yeah, the like I had or. We had some VCR um, videos, some HVS or whatever videos, mm -hmm. um, and we recorded some episodes. Um, they were, or I don't know if we recorded them. I think we bought them, and they were like Christmas specials mostly. So I only had like maybe one Sesame Street one where it wasn't <laughs> oh a Christmas Thank one. God. I thought I crashed Photoshop for a second. Two done. It's the third one. Good for you. I'm listening. Yeah, oh, I was just thinking. But yeah. Uh... Okay. No. Which one? Been a long, been a long time since I thought about all that. I feel like Sesame Street is just so, you know, iconic that like everybody knows about it, even if you don't watch it, and you know like how the characters are. And... But yet, you don't really know what the kids are watching now. You know. Yeah. Like, I have no idea what the episodes consist of right now. Although but I they do should... know. Oh, continue, well, continue. Um, because like I, I know some things because people do like skits and stuff and like have them as sounds, but um. Yeah, generally, I don't know everything that has to do with that. But, you know, they show up every Thanksgiving for the Macy's Day Parade, so obviously they're still kicking, so... <laughs> <laughs> you asked me something? No, no, I was gonna say, it's like, I know I know the future president is watching Coco Melon right now, so that's not great. <laughs> oh, Coco Melon? Yeah. That's Coco Melon. Oh, you know, ah, oh, the meme is done. No, ah, uh, it's a it's a kids show right now that's really weird, but yet okay. super popular to them. Ah. Huh. Well then, I'll stay away from it because if it's really <laughs> weird, then. Yeesh. I think I might have to send in some figure drawings along with whatever I can get done just so I have content for Eric. That's fine. I know I'm definitely not going to get this done in time. I'm probably going to get this done closer to 1 a.m. And then I'm just going to submit it then. Uh, yeah. It's a good thing it, like Blackboard doesn't close. Yeah. 
I'm gonna submit it then and be like, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that's that's it. That's the entire thing. <laughs> that's the entire message. In the notes. Yeah. Sorry. I want these to be relatively consistent, and I'm trying to work faster here. Like, mm -hmm. God, last time doing three took me five hours, uh, and it's only taken taken me about like an hour, maybe an hour twenty on each. So closer to like like two two and a half to three hours now to do two and i'm trying to get this one done before i hit the three hour mark so that's going to be mm -hmm. before 11 30. um mm -hmm. yeah yeah good for you so i'm glad that eric said that we can have nothing make sense you know no oh, yeah we can like submit all however many that would be um i think it'd be like 75 images or something by the end of the semester and and we can just have nothing make sense at all yeah no no consistency because then if there is consistency you can kind of bullcrap your way through that <laughs> <laughs> yeah there were so many times in my first semester where i just like didn't know what the heck i was doing that's so just I had the to... case of art yeah it's like and 90 so i was figuring this shit out <laughs> Uh-huh, and so I just had to be like, oh, well, maybe, maybe this makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, in my evaluation, in my first evaluation, it was like, you know, when you're like a freshman, yeah. they kind of screen you to make sure you can, yeah. And so, yeah, they said that I was really good with intention and like creativity, but, um... It was definitely the skills stuff holding me back, mm -hmm. and I just found that very interesting that they brought it up because I thought it was very apparent. So <laughs> it's like, I was like, yeah, I know that I lack skill right now. Yeah, their job but... is just kind of like to tell you that though. So I understand why they brought it up. Just like, uh -huh. it's kind of their job. Even if you know, they're like, yeah, we still gotta tell you. <laughs> We still gotta tell you. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like how they don't really want to grade, so they do this ungrading, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. No, I did I literally did my evaluation last year because I've been working backwards. Um like I started uh -huh. out at the highest level of class and went down to like fundamentals. But I huh. yeah, I did mine last year and they were like, Oh my god, your craft is just mince. I was like, cool, cool, but then they were like, yeah, but your intention is never there. I'm like, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> understandable, have a good day. Oh my gosh. And they were right, though. I didn't really have intention behind my drawings. Like, I'm a huge advocate of draw what you want to draw because you want to draw it, right? But, like, if you roll with that mindset a little too much, it makes it hard for people to work on projects with you because you never stick with what you do. And that's, like, that was a problem for me. Like, I would never pick something and then draw it, even if I was struggling. If I was struggling, I would move on. Like, uh, yeah. I would swap subject. I was someone who would, like, jump ship. But we fixed that. We've been... Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. Working on the hard stuff. But yeah, I know... I know why they definitely... Um... Yeah, like... I know that they they just have to do their job and explain everything. Yeah. Yeah. But them saying that I mean I was I was good at kind of pleading my case. That was always nice. To, that was good <laughs> to hear. <laughs> Cuz like <laughs> I pretty much had to plead my case before they even like questioned it. <laughs> Cuz I I knew I knew that they were going to be like, "So what's going on here?" Cuz we have no idea what's going on. And I'd be like, well, the intention was... And they'd be like, oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. So now, hopefully, things are getting to the point where I don't need to explain as much. True, but, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the case for some of my pieces. There was this one piece in printmaking that was, like, really good. And then Jeff took it with him and then didn't give it back right away. In fact, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think he still has it. Um, Jeff and just so, flat out said, this is mine now. <laughs> this is mine. And so, um, yeah, he just, you know, pretty much stole it, kept it, and didn't give it back. 
<laughs> you know? But no, he he actually got sick. And oh, so okay. he couldn't give it he couldn't give it back before it was too late. Um because then I couldn't submit it to the jury thing. Oh. The the third exhi exhibition. So I talked to him about it and I was like, um I don't know where that was. <laughs> and he's like, Oh, yeah, I think I had it. <laughs> I'm not. Sure, I'm not actually. I'm not even sure he's sick. I wonder if he just forgot that he had it and like I wanted it, <laughs> and then I wanted to use it. So, yeah, he he told me that I could submit it next year. Mm, all right, uh, all right, all right. And so I was like, oh, thank you, because I wasn't able to submit it, and it wasn't my fault. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It's a. It's a nice piece. I liked it. It was one where um, it was probably probably one of the more fun ones to work on. Actually, um, I just like took a bunch of paper um, and then inked up the individual little cutout, and I had to like cut them into like these interesting shapes and stuff. Mm. Um, and then I would like just kind of make a collage on the paper, and then what came out was almost like I don't know. It just kind of looks like a galaxy a little bit because I combined so many colors and shapes and stuff. Um, and I accidentally forgot to like cut a corner of one of the pieces, so it actually juts out of the box a little bit. And I was like, oh no because um, he told us that we had to have it within like certain parameters but then he looked at it and he's just like oh I like it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that one um, that one was really good I knew it was good because it was I think the only one that he kept <laughs> so um, <laughs> um, yeah but I liked working on that one I worked a little longer on that one, so apparently I liked it. Yeah, I was able to use some fun colors with it, so. Nice. Yep. But that one didn't cause me pain, you know, because, like, that's the, that's the problem with printmaking, is that, yeah, it's like, so it causes... freaking painful. You know, <laughs> it is painful, you know? Because, like, I stabbed myself horrible, actually, in my thumb when I was doing the carving, and it made me scared of knives for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still have a scar, actually. And I did it in February, I think. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. And then, um, yeah. And then, uh, I tried to do that one where it's like you use the cheesecloth and you have to, like, get out the ink. Yeah. You add it and then you take it away. Yeah, I screwed up my arms for, like, a month after that. It was, like, I tried to do that twisting motion and it was just, like, my arms were, like, done. It's like, I had... I've, I have a repetitive stress injury from high school, so like that was not smart. Um, yeah, so I just did my best with that project, and then um, it took it took me forever to finish the carving because like carving in and of itself, not only was I scared to hurt myself again, but like it was very taxing on my arms, not of a good motion. And then even just like regular printing. Where you have to like roll the freaking printer across, like yeah. everything is so taxing, and it's so physical. And like a lot, and like you know, people who don't have physical issues, they're never gonna understand why why it would be like unappealing. <laughs> um, what I find that amazing is that China loves printmaking, and like she has like more physical issues than I do so I'm very surprised so it's also appeal in general to that that's a factor apparently oh, no. I do not see the appeal yeah, don't worry. I'm with you there I just don't like printmaking mm-hmm One of my least favorites, though, was definitely when the grad students were messing with the print with the screen printing room, and they took all of the all of the screens 
and left messes for people. So, so when I was, was this last year? This last year, yeah, last mm. semester. The grad students, or not grad students, the baccalaureate students got um, panicked because they saved things for later yeah. and didn't manage the time. And so they ended up stealing things from the under, like the like the people who weren't doing their baccalaureate stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, things got a little spicy. Jeff was royally pissed, which I haven't seen him pissed like that in. I haven't well, seen Jeff pissed ever. Yeah, it's I Jeff. Know, so like, it's Jeff. So like, I was like legitimately like surprised, and so yeah. Yeah, sometimes it's just like that. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <sighs> I've drawn more faces today than I have in my entire life. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> you have drawn more faces today than you have drawn in one day before? No, just in, no, just just in general. Just like I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, like I've put more effort into faces today than I have like ever. <laughs> you have but drawn. That's kind of the reason why I chose them. I'm like I know my faces are really weak, so I have to work on them. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, homie, I am getting tired. Alright. So, I'm going to just submit my... My... My, um... Not impressive work. Just the... Figure drawing. Because he's not going to get impressive stuff for at least a week. <laughs> um... <laughs> or at least interesting to look at, I would say. Though, honestly, you might find it interesting to look at. It depends on the person. Um... Uh, cause I need to shower and let my hair dry so I can go to bed. Cause oh, I do not cool. want to wake up early in the morning. Uh, yeah. I'm not a morning person. Heck no. Wow, there's two layers so long, dang it. Alright, we gotta get back to this last one. Finish this last one, then I'm probably gonna, like, just draw, like, some eyes and a nose. So that way I can yeah. make the, make the turnaround time. Uh. Yeah, good job. That's a good plan. All right. Well, once you're all done, definitely share in Discord like your your whips. So. <laughs> I don't have whips. Yeah. I work all on one layer for a lot of these drawings. Take away the so fear what, what, of everything. What, what exactly is a whip? I thought it was like you whip it up real quick. No, 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 no. <laughs> a whip is a work in progress. Oh. So my like it shows God. like the steps of things. Dude, I have been a part of this Discord server for over a year, and I just found out this today. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, whip it up real quick. I like that definition more, though. Whip it up real quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Work in progress. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I should have saved... I should have saved some of... Or shared some of my pieces from this last year in the other one. Okay, I see. So everything finished goes in finished pieces, even if you whip it up real quick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I like that. Whip it up totally, real quick. Totally missed the point of that whole section. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, yes. Save it to finished pieces, please. <laughs> and yeah. So, you have yourself a good rest of your night, and I will talk to you later. Alright. Deuces. Alright, uh, do you... God, the crinkles on the skin for this are going to hurt me. They're going to hurt me so much. Oh, here comes Austin. Hey, I can hear him. 
running down the steps like a ma- there he is. <laughs> I'm the only person who moves that quickly in this goddamn house. <laughs> What's up? Um, with it up real quick. <laughs> Is that what you came down here to say? <laughs> God. What's the first person I've ever known that didn't to say know what? Not what whip meant? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't know what whip meant either. I learned, but I didn't think, I didn't, I just didn't notice it I didn't think it was whip it up real quick, though. Fair enough. I, I just flat out, I was just like, I don't, I don't know lingo. I, I learned it from uh, okay. I had the pieces that you couldn't get yet because they were work in progress pieces. Because the mod wasn't done yet. That makes sense. <laughs> but they I just really like. Whip it I up really like quick. whip it up real quick. I'm gonna start using it like that. <laughs> Stream. I'll be right back. I need more water. Alright, this one has to be done by like 11.30. So, we're going to speed run this guy. Yeah, yeah, awesome. What'd it be? What'd it be? You gonna whip something up real quick for me and type it in the chat? Is that what I'm about to hear? It looks like Joker? Probably, but at this point, uh, <laughs> that not the yeah, yeah, the she which 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 villain Joker. Like I, you gotta, you gotta specify for me, man. Like I don't, I don't know which one you're talking about. Automatically logged out, thank goodness.
Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I definitely see it now. We gotta get the rest of the values in, man. That's probably why it looks like that. But yeah, no, I definitely see it like a creepy doll that came to life. Yeah. And honestly, <laughs> worst comes to worst, this one's just gonna end up that way because I have three... Like, like about like 45 minutes at max to finish this. <laughs> uh and two others so yeah we're just we're, we're running on hopes and dreams right now for this for this one and the two that are gonna come after it so
Its eyes too dark right now for its current values. It's, yeah. Her lips by just softening the edges like a lot. This is her hair. It's gonna wrap to her neck, so I should probably do something with it. I'm gonna wrap that like here. Perfect. This thing, I don't know what it is, but the ears take over the first of the rest of the picture. It's not that high though. It's more like, yeah, more like that. this I can do that well I can do this bam oh, that's how I know that's not in the right place and now I can do this throw that one out there perfectly and then figure out where the bag goes
about waiting too long before I flip the canvas. I'm gonna make this eye small. This looks horrendous currently. But we're gonna keep trying to push it and hope for the best, the best. Leave her eye a little bit wider. It's the upper lid that needs to be shut a little more, not the lower lid. Lower lid is fine, and her pupil size needs to be bigger, like this. I think that works a lot better.
big shadow here. And another one, like, right there. And... Is slowly gaining form so that is a really good thing to see at first I was like well it is, this is what it is but now I'm like it is what it is and I'm proud of it it is what it is but better facts Fish or I.
this seem like it's actually in the socket. Doesn't seem like it's in the socket right now. this down just a tad
I don't want to call that one good. Took a look at what we have made so far. That one. And this one. Man, the first one always seems so weak in comparison to how we like end things. I'm going to finish this one up by adding a little. silhouette around it. I don't like that bump. That's a lot better. definition here make it pop a little bit more same here gonna darken up the shadows under here. And make the terminator really cool. And then of course a very necessary shadow here for simple lighting like this. Show off a little bit more form. Oosh. Same deal over here. I'm gonna make these a tad bit darker so that this makes sense. As well as take the eraser and erase into it so that these make sense. Oosh. Add a little bit more contrast between here and here so that way this looks like it's cutting in. And now we're done. No more, don't work anything else. We save this. does not look too bad not a lot that needs to be fixed here which is really good um, first off we're gonna boom one and just soften that let's 
since that shadow is so wide, I can make this one super, super dark. Uh, I want to make sure I'm not missing any. Um, any like really harsh shadows. No, yeah, I seem to have gotten all of them. Okay. for a little touch up So I'm gonna take the bridge better. <laughs> Cause it's my warm up. Um Yeah. This first one, wow, it hurts to look at now. <laughs> Jesus. But the rest, like progressing, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely an improvement. I just don't know what to do for these last two. But I have until exactly 11.59, so I'm going to open up my web browser and go to the page uh, and just be ready to submit it. I'm just gonna do really really super simple heads I'm definitely like I'm gonna redraw this one like I didn't do her enough justice and I'm gonna paint that um
I'm just gonna paint some simple eyes for this one. Dude, why does my thing keep doing this? Like, why does it... my task bar
is a real challenge speed running this. Oh god. Make it. Let's find out. All right, everything's all done.
We made it at exactly 11.59. God, we are good. <laughs> All right. And just like that, we are done. I'm going to fix these up, get a better composition for them, and probably post them on Instagram. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and I will see you at the next Procrastination <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Doses.